to This Is The Day. With me, Bo Chancy. <laughs> and me, Ariana Earnshaw. Mm. Mm. Felt like, had to. I know, you put that emphasis on different syllables. <laughs> I used to do that to the, to the point where I had to actually stop myself because I would I, it was like confusing. I would just do it so much it would just be natural. Oh, it was bad. It was so I, bad. You should bring that back. I don't think so. Not enough of that anymore. I, th- I don't know if I could do it anymore. I used to do it very, very, very quickly, but I don't know. How could we make communication more difficult? Yeah, right. It's not it's not hard <laughs> enough. Yeah. People love communicating. Yeah. And so I needed a way to spice it up. That's right. <laughs> so that was it. That was the way. Yeah. Also, ch- changing the first l- letters of two words. What do you mean? <laughs> like, Example. Oh, man, I don't know. Um, like, Genet Butter and Pelly. Oh, like, like Dunfip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I wouldn't A congratulatory just do it with, Dunfip. Like, yeah, like, I wouldn't just do it with, like, two, I would do, like, two random words in a sentence. <laughs> like, on purpose? Yeah. Yeah, but it became too natural, so I had to stop. That was funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was a good thing. I don't <laughs> know how you wound up being a semi-functional adult. No, I don't either. No, no, it's very confusing. It's, so it's bizarre. not. I was not a normal kid. <laughs> and there was lots of stuff that just was like, is she gonna be all right? You should definitely uh, write a book or yeah. <laughs> a podcast, or something, uh, so that you know, it, like for parents of quirky children. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're worried. <laughs> I mean, like, like, there is a place is for normal? your child potentially in this world. Yeah. I'm living Potentially. Proof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I should start a podcast is what you're saying. Yeah. No. I did say that, but I didn't mean it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I do mean is we should probably do a proverb, proverb of, of the day. day. It's a proverb, proverb of the day. day. It's a proverb, proverb of the day. Day. Hooray. Nice. Proverbs 19.8. It says, <laughs> the one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. Mm. I'll read it again. Proverbs 19.8. The one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. All right, Mm. Ariana, what jumps out at you? Mm. I love talking about wisdom. Okay. (laughs) I love learning about wisdom. I love hearing about wisdom. I love other people talking about wisdom. I love reading about wisdom in the Bible. I love a good focus on wisdom. Yep. Um, And there's just like so much about it that I love, but to think about this verse as like kind of two pieces in my mind, like having a wise heart and having a clear head. Okay. To have those two things together is just like an awesome concept to me because you can you can be wise, but if your head is clouded and you can't then apply the wisdom that you've trapped in yourself, then then it's it goes without saying it, it's gonna be really difficult to act in a way that's wise. And the same thing the other way, if you don't have any wisdom, but your head is very clear and you can think properly, but you don't have any wisdom to live out, then then you know what I mean? What are, how, how do you process that? So to have the two together, you can really like discover the good about life, about God, about others, and really like push that out into the world. I really like the, this verse together, talking okay. about both those things. I got a follow-up question. Okay, go for it. You said a wise heart mm-hmm. and a clear head. Mm-hmm. Have, did you read that somewhere? Mm-hmm. Is that have you read that somewhere? It's it's part of it's, so when you read in different different versions, uh-huh. I forget which version, but I remember reading it recently. Yeah. It's a different version. I'm sorry that I don't remember what it's it okay. is, but it's another version of the Bible that this verse says. It says, "Wise heart, clear head." Very cool. And so that's how I think about this verse. It was a little while ago yeah. that I remember reading this, so I don't remember exactly which version. But that stuck with me because I was like, "Oh yeah, duh, that's so cool, that's so awesome." So that's that's why I said that. Well, how about this? The, the one who gets wisdom loves life. Are you loving life? I'm loving life. Well, there must be some wisdom there. Hopefully. <laughs> well, I mean, because that's one of the things you can do. I think we can do sometimes, and I don't, I don't, I don't, like, don't want to read too much into a, a scripture or anything like that, but mm-hmm. there are times where I'm not loving life. Mm-hmm. And there can be all kinds of reasons for that, right? Yeah. The circumstances, the challenges, the difficulties, the pain, the suffering, mm-hmm. uh, on and on. And, um, it, but it, it could be uh, 
you know, a clouded mind or, you know, mm -hmm. um, not a wise heart. But it, it says the one who gets wisdom loves life. That there is, I think with wisdom, there comes an understanding of, of what's happening in life mm -hmm. and just how beautiful life can be. That's why, like, I know, I think, I feel like when there is, when there's real wisdom, godly wisdom in me, there is actually uh, a joy and a love and a passion even for the messy things of life. Mm -hmm. Instead of just wanting everything mm -hmm. neat and tidy and you know, the way that I want them to be. No, 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 that, that the, to really love and enjoy the unexpected and the curveballs and, and the, some of the challenges that are there. Yeah, yeah, and that's a wise thing in itself to be able to enjoy life, even in those struggles. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's not like, oh, well, if you have wisdom, then life's gonna be a breeze. It's gonna be so easy. Oh, goodness, <laughs> You're gonna no, love yeah, every no. second of it. Right, right. It's gonna be whatever. No. no, it's just that in that, in that, in grief and in struggle, and then you'll still be able to find joy in life. Yeah. Which is something that I've learned, and I'm well, still learning, and I'm always learning. Oh, for sure. It's a, I think it's a, mm -hmm. an ongoing uh, oh, journey yeah. and discovery. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's also like when people are like, how's life? You ever, how's life? I, I, every time I'm asked that question, I, I, I know the, the sentiment behind it. And so, you know, talk about communication. Mm -hmm. and, and so I want to honor the sentiment and answer the question or whatever. But I, every time I'm asked that question, I'm like, life's really good. Always. Because Jesus is life. He's mm -hmm. the way, the truth, and the life. And so I can't, I've got, I just, I can't separate that even in casual conversation. And that's kind of a cool reminder too. Like, how's life? Well, life is good because he's always good. And in life, you know, for me to live is Christ, the scripture says, mm -hmm. you know, to die is gain, but to live is Christ. So how's life? Life is good. Well, I feel like I, I do a similar thing in a, in a slightly different setting. And it means something slightly different to me, but this is how my brain processes it. When someone says, how are you? Just like a simple, how are you? Yep. Typically, I don't come back with like, well, <laughs> Well, yesterday, blah, 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 blah. Like, I, my default is good. But I, so I recently went through this thing where I was like, should I be being a little more honest? Like, if I'm not good or if I'm really good, like, should, not like to everybody and not in every, like, you have to be wise. <laughs> but should I, like, I default to just saying good. And then I was like, no, 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 because there is always a truth to that. It, especially, like, as I look at my life, there is always a truth to I am good. Even if what's going on in my life that day is, is seemingly, you know, throwing me off or not good, like I'm good. I am still good. And there will be times where you will be broken, but life is still good. Like I kind of had that same reminder recently because I was like, am I being untruthful? Like this is, I don't know why I was thinking about this, but I was like, I don't know, like if I'm not doing good. And I was like, no, but there is going to always be a truth to to being good, and that's because you have Jesus. So saying I'm good is truthful always, at least for me. So I, that was, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so I really like that. I like I like it for a number of reasons. Uh, one, there is a a foundational truth in there that I I think is really life changing and identity shaping for us as we live out who we are in Christ. Uh, the other is to take captive everything and go, well, okay, well, wait a minute, is what I'm saying actually true? Mm -hmm. And if it is, how is it true? And then how do I apply that? Mm -hmm. um, instead of just whatever comes out of our mouth, just being what, whatever, yeah, like they right. really do want to pay attention. So the I am good statement, a couple of things. Um, my father and I, we went to a thing years ago at their church in Texas, and uh, there was a national speaker they had brought in who does prison ministry, and he had been a formal NFL player, and they were really involved in prison ministry. But one of the things he was talking about was um, how dads interact with their children. And so I was there with my dad and, and, and we were enjoying that together. But that, um, that what children need to hear from their, their fathers is, um, you are my child, you are a good child, and I love you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got in the, the truck after it was over and we enjoyed the talk and everything. And my dad goes, I need to tell you something. I'm like, what's that? And he said, you're my boy and you're a good boy. I love you. I was like 35, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, and I knew, I mean, I yeah. knew what was coming. I mean, you, 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 and we're not super cliche kind of people, yeah, or whatever, yeah. but like, it, it was like, yep. And there was no doubt. I mean, he's, he, my dad is a very, he's, he's a vocal with his love and affection mm -hmm. and pride. He's, it's not like hidden or like that was, yeah. 
necessarily unusual, but right there, and I'm like, oh yes, you know. So I started doing that, um, you know, with with my kids as mm -hmm. well, just reminding them of that. A lot of times, like dropping them off for school and things like that when they were younger. And what a cool thing to realize. Well, I'm good, not because of what I've done or I'm doing, but because God declares that I'm good mm -hmm. based on His righteousness and. Mm -hmm and what he's done, and that this is the declaration of a loving father who he he declares and says this. Um, and that's pretty cool, because then that's, that doesn't change, you know, based on how bad I blow it or whatever is going on. Yeah. Um, that this, this foundational truth is there. And I had one other comment about that that I thought was really cool. Uh, Mike Goff, mm -hmm. uh, who we introduced last week on This Is The Day and is a part of the MCC, Staff will be preaching at our Manchester campus. And um, anyway, I when I, I talked to him, um, I've been talking to him off and on a little bit, and just as a, as a friend and, mm -hmm. you know, a, a peer in ministry. And one day, uh, it'd been a while since we connected, and this was before we talked about him joining the team or whatever, and I was like, how you doing? And he goes, ah, ah, Bo, my heart is good. My heart is good, like that. Mm -hmm. And it was such a real, it, like it, it blessed my heart. Mm -hmm. Like, and then the, there was stuff going on and there was stuff we could talk about, but before he said anything else, is he, he acknowledged, my heart is good. And mm -hmm. he said it with such clarity and passion that I was like, I wanna live every day like that, where I know my heart. Mm -hmm. My heart is good. That's yeah. a good place to be. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. A little bit of that. That's awesome. Uh, quick pop quiz. Oh, boy. Ariana. No, okay. it's okay. If you don't know, then I'll give the answer. It's fine. <laughs> um, if somebody out there watching uh, This Is The Day right now is like, well, hey, I like this wisdom thing. I think I would like to have some. Mm -hmm. How does one get wisdom? Get wisdom? Yeah. You want me to... Want me to... Do you have a thought? I, I, have, I have some thoughts. How does one get wisdom? Get wisdom? Yeah. Ask God for some wisdom. What? Oh, Are you serious it's crazy. right now? It's it can't crazy. be that it's easy. Crazy. What do you mean? It's pretty easy. How do you do that? Just uh, say, hey, go into some prayer time, some some chitter chatter with okay. your maker, with yep. your father, yep. who loves you so much. Loves to give gifts. Loves so gifts. to give good yeah. gifts. And do what? what do and you ask do? him for some wisdom. What's he gonna do if He's you ask him? He's gonna give you some wisdom. If you truly believe that God is going to give you wisdom, says this somewhere in James, James, James chapter, chapter one. one. Um, that you you believe with all your heart that God will give you wisdom, he will he will he will be true. He will give it to you. It says there he gives generously to all. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Without finding fault. There it is. Like we may be That's, going, well, I don't uh, deserve yeah. it. You're right. But without finding fault, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what's been done to you, God has wisdom, and His wisdom, like this proverb says, the one who gets wisdom loves. Life. That is so our God to just not judge us. <laughs> just be like, it's okay. Here you go. Here it is. And when we have his wisdom, then we understand who he is, mm -hmm. who we are in relationship to him, mm -hmm. what life really is all about, and we'll, and we'll love mm -hmm. the life that he, is, he has given us. So if you're sitting around going, man, life stinks, I hate life, wisdom, ask God for wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yep. You shall receive. Pretty sweet. That was fun. So sweet. Okay, good, nice. Good proverb. You know, I think what helped us there was the song. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, uh, that set that up to be pretty Pretty sure it was the song. Pretty, so. pretty, pretty sure. <laughs> uh, well, music does help you get into the scriptures. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, we also have a calendar here on This Is The Day. Um, yeah. Page a day. Sure do. Um, today's a life hack. You okay. like the life hacks? Yeah, it's going to depend. Okay. Uh, this one is a life hack. Butter your popcorn. <laughs> okay. A little tact. <laughs> Want that movie theater butter mixed all the way through your popcorn? <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Who Tell does it? Calendar. Yeah. Insert it through a straw. Okay. Life hack. I don't believe it. Well, first of all, you'd have to be in an actual movie theater. Yeah. Which is a challenge. Yep. Yeah in and of itself. Mm -hmm. Second mm -hmm. of all, you'd have to be in a movie theater mm -hmm. that has the mm -hmm. self-serve mm -hmm. butter substitute, whatever that is, mm -hmm. coming out of the pipes that mm -hmm. they've got in there. Yeah, it's like 
it's like tubed through the ceilings and something. in the walls yeah, and no, stuff. No, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, I think it's directly to a cow's udder. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know how that works. I don't, that does not check out. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, thanks for being honest. Okay. Um, but I guess you, so you only get the butter on, on the yeah, top. And you, you know, and then, then yeah. if you're with people, you're like, and all the butter pieces are gone before you get in there. Can I, so I don't like this way of doing it. I don't get it. I think it's hard, and I think that in theory it's a fine idea, but in execution it's harder than it sounds, maybe, probably. I would like to propose you have popcorn, you have a bowl or cup of butter, you have a straw, similar thing, similar direction. You eat the popcorn, you sip the straw. Oh. Buttered popcorn. No. No. I think that's better. I think that makes way more sense. Buttered popcorn. That's not good. Butter with every bite. <laughs> that's going to be my slogan when I come out with it. Butter with every bite? Butter with every bite. That's good. Ariana's straw butter popcorn. Straw butter popcorn. <laughs> straw butter popcorn is just going to be like butter a plastic cup of, like, you know the boba <laughs> tops where you yep, stab yep, the straw through? Yep. It's going to be like that little straw attached to the side, little, you know, pack of microwave popcorn together. You just through the top. Mmm. Sip of butter. Mmm. That's going to be the commercial. Mm. I'm going to have, like, someone, like some little child, sip it and be like, mmm, mm. sip of butter. And commercial, it's going to be like, call 1-800-SIP-A-BUTTER <laughs> for <laughs> yours today. Okay. For three payments of Whoa. 99 cents. Okay. It's not cheap. It's, I mean, it's not expensive. It's 297 297 That's what it will be. That's what it would be. But interest over time. Yes, of course. So, yeah, you got it. Like me. three, oh, yeah. four. Okay. <laughs> I will just say in defense, and mm -hmm. I rarely defend okay. the, the calendar. Okay. Um, I probably at some point in my life am going to try this hack. The next time I'm at a this hack. Yep. Next not my time, hack. Next, no, not yours. Absolutely Fine. not. Next time I'm at a an actual movie theater that has good popcorn. So when I travel out of New England, and um, I wouldn't know, but okay. And uh, and you have the self serve, then I'm gonna I'm gonna get out a straw and. Okay. See how that works. I'll let you know. Well, yeah, let me know because okay. I don't think it's gonna work like you think. We'll find out. Okay. I don't know. Guess we will. Okay. Uh, then there's another calendar that gives us a national day to celebrate. To celebrate. It's called uh, National Chocolate Mint Day. You know what? What? I'm so excited to celebrate this day. Who are you? So excited. To, so, so. Can't speak anymore. So excited to celebrate. Yes. Why? Because, because I'm looking. I'm looking on the desk behind the gold brick. Behind the fun dip box, behind the trivial pursuit, behind the high five, okay? And I see something that I like. What do you like? A whole entire thing of Andy's chocolates. It's, it's here. It's full. Satisfying, ah, huh? It's minty. You shouldn't take any out. You should leave them all in there. I know, and that's what my, brain, my mind is. I really want these. But look, okay, <laughs> this could be bad. <laughs> this could be bad. Doing? It's so satisfying. And if I let go of the sides right now, they're all going to fall out. Okay. Can you see them? Yeah. You like the, the, the green foil is kind of a great packaging. It really is. It's a shimmer. It re oh, and they smell so good. Okay, here you go. I just thought it would be fun. They gotta go over there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna don't eat. Push them on me. No, you don't like them? I'm not saying I don't. I just, I, I just feel like Today could be about so much more than eating a piece of Andy's candies. I think there's an opportunity here for something that has been unexplored in the past that may be with the platform, Ariana, that we have with This Is The Day that we should take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. Because it's Chocolate Mint Day. And I think for far too long, chocolate has been misunderstood. Okay. And so we now have the opportunity to explain what chocolate meant. What did chocolate m mint? What what did it mean? What? Well, give Go me ahead. a scenario and I'll explain it. So, chocolate. There's this thing called white chocolate. <laughs> okay. What do you think it meant? What did what did white chocolate mean? What did white chocolate mean? Well, when it decided to oh, get those little 
cookie crumbles, you know what I'm talking about? The you know cookies talking, and cream? The yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go there. Cookies and cream, chocolate. Yeah. What do you think it meant? Well, it, it meant to be actual chocolate. That was its desire, but white chocolate is not actually chocolate. That's why I went with white chocolate, yeah. but I didn't know how so, to format the sentence. Right, but yeah. so that's where you go with the cookie crumbles. You do get chocolate in the cookie mm -hmm, mm -hmm, crumbles, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. there is an element of, of chocolate mm -hmm. in, the, in the cookies and cream. So that's what it meant to do. That's what it meant to do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What chocolate meant. Yeah. Respect. I respect chocolate for that. <laughs> Okay. Chocolate today's for you, a day of clarification. Mm -hmm. And you know what, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Who am I to speak for chocolate? I don't know. I, I don't know who you think you are, really. I, it, that's a problem. It... I think we should let chocolate speak for itself. Chocolate, today's your day. Today's your day. If you want to come out and let us know what you meant. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. We, yeah. We'd appreciate that. Mm. Okay. One question. Yeah. Off this topic, mm -hmm. but on the chocolate topic. Yeah, okay. Um, and the mint. Mint chocolate chip ice cream? Yep. How do you feel? Well, here's how I feel. I prefer chocolate chip ice cream. Out of the ice creams, hmm. that would be my go-to. Out of all the ice creams? Out of all of them. Oh. If you just said, just pick an ice like you could only have one ice cream for the rest of your life, I would go chocolate chip. Really? Yeah, and I don't eat a lot of ice cream, but that's what I'd go with. I mean, yeah, okay. So, since I enjoy it so much, uh, that's what I would go with. Now, I'm not in opposition to the chocolate mint. It, it's one of the sumstress's favorites. Okay. No. It's just interesting to me because I don't, I'm having a hard time thinking about this right now because when I asked you that question, I was like, I don't like ch mint chocolate chip ice cream. The more I think about it, yes I do. Yeah. I like basically everything that's mint chocolate chip, but I don't prefer it. Right. That's a good point. Yeah. I do love a good thin mint. That's a mint chocolate thing. Mm -hmm. Like thin the cookie? Mint, like the cookie. Yeah. Now I'm really I don't go out of my way like to get it. it, but you don't? No, but oh, if you I would. Like, yeah. I would go out of my way for some thin mints. Yeah. yeah. And these are great. And I don't even have to go to the Olive Garden. They're all say, right how you, here. How do you feel when you're like, you know, paying the check at a restaurant and you get a couple of those bad boys thrown in your uh I'm in like your little folder? On top of my game. I'm like, I got my to go pasta. Cause inevitably I only ate like three noodles while I was at the restaurant. Sure. I'm taking it all home. True. And I have these, they, you know, they're smart about this, though. Mm, yep. They're smart because they're not leaving it in a, in a little bowl at the front of the restaurant. They're giving you one for every person at the table because they know. They know people like me are walking up to the front and doing this thing and then doing this in the pocket and then another. And then, like, while my party is, like, working their way to the front of the restaurant, I'm just, like, fistfuls of Andy's chocolates in my pockets. Every pocket I have in, in my hair, in my sleeves. Just can, <laughs> Andy's mints are falling out of <laughs> my sleeves and everything. Can I give you something to look forward to? Sure. In life, um, so they, you know, for you probably you're mm -hmm. getting like one. Yes. Um, or if you have like a party of four, maybe mm -hmm. they're putting three in there, and you're gonna have to fight over one or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and I will fight. Yeah, and I, no, I wouldn't fight you. Okay. Not for if, these. But usually, like if if I go at my age and stature mm -hmm. in life. Um, mm -hmm. A, uh, a, a strategic wait staff employee is putting a whole handful of those bad boys in there, like Why? double the amount of people at my party. Why? Bigger tip. I tip well. I, nobody said you didn't. I'm <laughs> saying there's a profiling know, thing happening here. That's true. That's true. So you got that to look forward to. That's true. I can't wait. You don't have the bolt. I can't wait. But you have the... The future of. I do have the future to look forward to. I know that I completely ignored your party for the last 25 minutes, but here's 27 cents worth of <laughs> mints. Can Which actually it? is 50 mints. Can I have a $20 tip? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> You're like, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> this is my last memory of you. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. over, like mm -hmm. it can't even close, and what do I it's do with all you these? You start strong and you end strong. Doesn't matter what happens in the middle. middle. That's right. Does not matter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So. That checks out. Let's right. play a little Trivial Pursuit. Okay. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to get them all right. So we have the original 1981 edition, classic board game Trivial Pursuit. You're going old. I would like you to choose. A card? A card. From the old box. From the old box. Okay, so we've never done this before. This is a little, a little weird. Okay. So Switching I, it up. All right, so these are old cards. Um, I'm going to guess at all six. I want you to guess at all six. If uh, I get all six right, we had it before? Yes, sorry. Oh, that's you why I choose, chose it. Choose... <laughs> Choose more from 
like this middle oh, side. Can I do this again? Sorry, sorry. That's why I should never let I, I know I shouldn't have. I shouldn't anything. have let this happen. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess at all six. I want you to guess all six. If you get all six right, let me know, and we will send you a congratulatory pop rocks from a fun pop. Okay. Okay. All right, blue. Geography. There's a hair in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what country contains the largest ice field in Europe? What country <laughs> contains the largest ice field in Europe? Mm-hmm. Europe. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Soviet Union, Russia. Final answer? Yep. Norway. 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 Norway! Yes way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, pink. Pink entertainment. I already don't know how to say this name, but here we go. Who portrayed Ugart, Ugarte in Casablanca? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I have no idea. E U G A R T E. Okay. Sorry, no, no idea. <laughs> I don't. Uh, Humphrey Bogart. Peter Lorre. Yeah. No, that is. Okay. Nope. Yellow. Yellow history. What 17th century explorer was buried with a pipe and a box of tobacco? <laughs> His name. Well, Sir Walter Raleigh. That is correct. That's correct. <laughs> Brown. Brown, art and literature. How many reindeer pull Santa's sleigh? Well, he got Dasher <laughs> and Dancer and Prancer and Comet, Cubit, Donner, Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph. Okay, my guess is eight. That's correct. I, I don't think I know the song. If you just did the song correctly, I, I would have done it differently. It's interesting. Okay. Now, there's hearsay uh -huh. that they're not all pulling their weight. That Rudolph's is there for show. But I don't want to judge because I don't know them all. That he's been mailing it in for years. But I only know a few of the there's reindeer. There's only actually so I, seven I the reindeer like, okay, like, pulling right. the sleigh and all Rudolph's right. like freeloading. It's back. possible. Yeah, it's I possible. Don't I don't know. Don't want to make any judgments. Yeah. Okay, green. Green, science and nature. How many times a day does the typical person go to the bathroom? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, number one or number two, or is this does cumulative? Does not specify. So it's at least three if we're adding them together. <laughs> <laughs> How many times a day does the average? Yeah, I, I think that it's a cumulative because this <laughs> is seven. Six. Okay. That feels like a lot to me. Orange. Orange. Sports and leisure. What do the five Olympic rings represent? The five Olympic rings represent North America, South America, Africa, Asia. Wait. I thought it was the continents. Is it the continents? Yep. Okay. But you don't have to name them. Antarctica? You got them. Australia? I mean... How many continents are there? Seven. How many rings are there? It says five. <laughs> but is it the continents? I could be wrong. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Okay. Am I losing it? <laughs> I could be losing it. Uh, yeah. You're okay. right. Yeah. All right. Europe and Asia, is that? Yeah, well, yeah, because they're. <laughs> they're two continents, right? Huh? Those are two different continents, or are they one? Eurasia? No. <laughs> I can't think. Africa. I'm just still stuck on this because this North doesn't America, make sense to me. North America, South America. Did I say Africa? No, I don't remember. <laughs> Never mind. Huh, huh. I got the question huh, right. Huh, 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 huh. You got the question right, but I don't understand it. Okay. But respect. Um, all right. Well, I did not get all six right, but if you did, let us know, and we'll send you a congratulatory pop rocks from a fun net box, but maybe a nasty note. Probably the nasty note. It's been a fun week. I've had fun this week. I've loved this week. Me too. Me too. My heart is full. Full. My yep. heart is my heart is good. And I have all these. All right. You got all those. All right. So we hope you have a uh, great weekend. Join us for services on Sunday. Yeah. A new series called Kingdom. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So check us out. Yeah. And we'll catch you on Monday. <laughs>